one time I went out with this guy and he told me I had loser energy, um, <sighs> which to be honest, he's not like totally wrong, but it's still. Wow. Straight from the, the horse's mouth or whatever that expression is. Wow, we're going to skip her. That's beautiful. All right, boys. Buckle up. We got some bad first dates on our hands here. <laughs> Let's see what we got. I'll tell you guys my worst first date that happened tonight. Lay it Let's on us, Big Daddy. It. So this woman decides to call me at 8.30 p.m. asking to go to dinner. Since it is 8.30, I've already eaten dinner, but she proceeds to go, please go to dinner with me. I know you've eaten, but just, 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 just go. She wants a free meal. Classic. I'm at home chilling, doing nothing, so I'm like, oh, sure, let's go out, let's have a good time. Yeah. When she gets in the car, she proceeds to tell me that she can't hang out for long because she's gonna go to a bar and hang out with some other friends. So now, this feels like a let me call up some sucker to buy me dinner so I can have a full stomach to go hang out with other dudes. That's the best. That is the best thing I've ever heard. I actually had a uh, chick one time. She comes over to the crib and she is younger. <clears throat> I was like 30 at this time and she was like 19 or something, which I know. I, I was thinking with my dick. I get it. Um, but she comes over and she's literally Snapchat chatting some other dude. And then I realized in that moment, she came to smoke some free weed. And my dick would never be in her mouth. Yeah. So anyways, that's why I usually don't just hook up with girls. Wallet. So I go, hey, um, am I paying for all of this or you want to go 50-50? Honestly, I felt kind of used in that moment. Let me call up some sucker to pay for my meal so I can go hang out with somebody else. If she told me up front, hey, let's grab dinner. I only have 45 minutes because I'm hanging out with somebody else. I wouldn't have driven 30 minutes over to Newport Beach to hang out with her then. The check comes back and she starts like grinning. She then says, you know what, um, I'm going to give you like a little date review. So first things first, you didn't open up my car door. And number two, I've never paid for my own food. In my head, I'm laughing. And then I'm I would have lost it. Oh my God, I want to throw something right now. Well, that, the waiter comes back and says, hey. Your car didn't go through, it declined. This chick doesn't even have 22 or $23 to pay for her meal. So she was expecting me to pay for it so she can go hang out with other dudes. God, it sucks when you get played, man. I've been there on very small scales, but I have been there. I'm just reminiscing on the time that a guy from Bumble asked me if I wanted to go get food with him, and I said yes. And he came and picked me up and took me back to his apartment. And I said, oh, what are we doing at your apartment? And he said, I have food here. And I said, well, isn't that convenient for you? Went to the fridge and he opened it and took out his meal prep for the week, which was a Tupperware with chicken and rice and broccoli in it. And then he opened his drawer and he said, I only have one fork right now. Is it okay? If he only has one fork right now. You know what would have been funny if he said, hey, I'm just trying to get them gains. And that ass. Yay, yay. Share. And so we sat on the edge of his bed and watched Big Mouth and took turns with the fork eating his chicken and broccoli. <laughs> he must have been extremely attractive. Wow. Worst first date I ever went on in my life. The woman looked very normal. And I say that because this is so fucking wild. I know when people hear this story, they think she was some trashy, crazy looking broad, but she was Hell not. Man. She was very normal. Yeah. She was a professional. Mm -hmm. She had a professional ass job. Yeah. So on this first date, she uh, she told me she had a ongoing consensual sexual relationship with her own father, and then asked me for money for heroin. <laughs> and uh, I was like, Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm ready to date, and I, I didn't for a long time. And uh, <laughs> the uh, the second date I went on after that was six months later, something like that. Like, I took a long, long time. Like, I don't think I'm going to like being single. Yeah, I would, second too. Second date, I go, and it, not with the same woman, a different woman, a second oh, first date with this woman. Uh, over lunch, it somehow brought up that I was sexually abused as a kid. And she was like, oh, well, that means you're probably an abuser, too, because that's how that works. And I was like, Wow. Okay, fuck you, you know? And then we just had a... <laughs> <laughs> Women are 
women are so educated. She goes, oh, yeah, that means you're an abuser too. Not like, oh my God, that's terrible. Or, oh my God, let me sexualize you, you know, and redeem, redeem that, show you, you know, show you, whatever. That's fucked up. And we just had an awkward lunch and we walked around a, a river afterwards because like I was out in her area, there was a river and I was like, well, I'm going to go walk around it. She was like, I'll go with you. Uh, and she encountered some like people she knew and they invited her to a party and she goes, oh yeah, well, he's a musician. He'll play at the party. And I go, why the fuck did you, like, I don't have my guitar. I didn't plan for this or anything. She's like, oh, well. He's like, I don't even have my set list ready. Wow. Well, where's this going? I'll let you borrow my guitar. This guy's and got good ones. And at that point, I'm thinking, like, well, this date went horribly. Maybe I'll meet somebody cool at the party. So I figured out a couple of songs. We go to this place. It's a fucking tiki bar. This person turned their bottom floor of their house into a tiki bar. That's kind of And cool. it's like a potluck. And uh, I played a few songs, and they were like a great audience and just super nice people. And then I'm talking to this girl out back. And he just got forced into playing a gig real quick for free, probably. That's awesome. Uh, she she like <laughs> is into me, and she's like, "I want you to fuck me." And I was <sighs> like, "Okay." And she's like, "But if you fuck me, you got to promise you're gonna fuck me good." And I go, "Well, I mean, I'm gonna do my best. Like, I can't, <laughs> you know, no promises." You know what the best one to say to all of it is? Because listen, I'll dick you down to the best of my abilities, and you're gonna like it. Or at least I will. I hope. Uh, so we started uh, having sex like in like this darkened porch area, like just outside there. And then I looked around and everybody was fucking. She had brought me to like a, a swinger party. So I played what? a show at like a swinger party. <laughs> oh, come and on. And then uh, she got up in the middle to go get a beer and she's waiting in line at the keg. And she's standing next, just naked, standing next to another naked man. And they're talking a little <laughs> bit. And she just so casually, like, reaches down. She's, like, listening to him like this. And she just casually reaches down, and she's giving him a hand job. And I was just so disgusted I had to leave. And that was the best shit I've ever heard, heard. Thank you, Octopus Caveman. That's his name. Wow. God, he had, so far, he's taken the, the cream of the crop on this one. I just went on a date and I got violently humbled by the guy asking, he was looking at me in my eyes and I was like, oh my god, he's gonna say I'm so pretty. He looked at me and he said, can I pop this? <laughs> and he wanted to pop a pimple on my forehead. I just went on a date and I got violently Oh, that's, that's rich. I love it. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna uh, Here's the worst first date I've ever been on in honor of Valentine's Day. Hooray. So, standard Tinder thing, we meet. And um, I name a restaurant, and I tell her that I can give her a ride, and she's not comfortable with me picking her up. Notice how all of these are basically Tinder, or Hinge, or Bumble, or whatever, or Cupid.com, whatever. House, super chill. We go to like a neutral parking garage um, where I pick her up and take her to the restaurant. On my way to the restaurant, I put my hand on the gear shift, but she thinks I'm reaching for her hand to hold, so she grabs my hand. Now I'm <laughs> stuck with the awkward decision of do I let go and make her feel weird or do I hold on to someone's hand when I don't really want to hold on. Uh, conversations, it's whatever, it's not great. Uh, she was an influencer at the time, so her main goal was, was reaching a million followers of and that's course. what she wanted to talk about and I thought that was interesting. Like, whatever, the, the food was fine. <laughs> no love connection. After dinner, I drive her back to the parking garage where the parking garage is closed. Now, I go, oh, well I can just take you home and you can Uber back to the parking garage the next day. She goes, no, um, you live close to the parking garage. Why don't I just spend the night? Like, okay, that's fine, I guess. But hey, I don't do the first date thing. So you're going to sleep on the bed and I'll take the couch. Like, that's the way it's going to be. Wow. Talking about judging a book by its cover. He looks like he would do it within the first two hours of knowing her. Awesome. Anyways, it's we good. get back good to my him. place and I'm like, I'm going to, I'm like, I'm going to go to bed because I want this to kind of be over. It's like nothing. And then she's like, hey, do you have a condom? To which I respond, no. You know, like a liar. Anyways, it just, it, that didn't go over well. She huffed and she puffed and what are you? Of course it didn't go over well, man. Women never take rejection well. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's great. We need more men like this out here.
Dude, have you ever told a hot chick no? Oh my God, it works. I'm telling you, reverse psychology. They'll get them. What, you don't wanna, what about, and I'm just like, hey, I'm so sorry, but I just, it's not my thing, I'm gonna go to bed. Next morning, it snowed overnight. So now the roads are closed. I'm not driving like a snow machine. We're stuck in my apartment for one more day. No. I have never felt more awkward in my own home in my entire life. And I've lived with abusive people. And then she starts telling me about her ex. We mostly actually talked about her ex the whole day. So I end up like, okay, perfect. I, this is, this, we can, I'll give you relationship advice. Not that I should be giving. Anyways, this date goes on for about two days. Worst first date ever. And about Worst two day first date. Wow. That's awesome. Definitely misjudge that guy though. Has a guy ever asked you out to come over to his apartment to go into his hot tub for a first date or maybe to like go swimming on a first date or maybe just to like come over to his place at like nine or 10 o'clock at night as a first date? That's not a first date. It's called a booty call. It's called sex lady. Last night I took a girl out on a date. I haven't dated in three years. Wow. And I think this story might add to the reason why I'm made to be single the rest of my life. Just the fact that this dude has that thought is pretty bizarre. I'm gonna have to fast forward a bit. We get to the Mexican restaurant. We are vibing. I'm telling you, vibing. And here we go. Do you know margaritas Mexican restaurant equals peanut butter and jelly? Vibe, mix and match, baby. Anyways, here's where this goes. We get two down each. They're great margaritas. Great margaritas. We're having a great time, great conversation. <laughs> She proceeds to order eight more margaritas. Eight margaritas? By the time this woman was getting, you know, I'm cool with you drinking. I'm cool with paying for it. Three to four, maybe. I mean, baby, they're ten bucks. <laughs> Once she gets to five or six, I start giving her. She don't care. I swear to you, this girl was, it, she was a fish. She was a fish with how she was drinking these margaritas. I was in shock. By the time she got to six, seven, and was like kind of normal, I, I guess. I don't, it it's not normal. It's called alcoholism. <laughs> it's like, is this is this messed up? She's had eight margaritas on our first date. Yeah, dude, it is. She was, God, just licking the salt. She's like, these are good. No, but she didn't stop. And then here's where here's here's where it hits me. I don't do math well, but I do know. That eight margaritas that are 10 bucks each equals $80 on your end without tax, without the food. Are you kidding me? Don't forget the tip. So I get this check. I pay for it, and I'm about to cry meanwhile while I'm looking at this receipt. I sign it. You know what she proceeds to say? <laughs> Nothing. She's drunk. <laughs> she goes, I had the best time. I'm sure you did, Sally. You can't even probably walk straight right now if we stand up out of this booth. You just ordered... I'm single for life, man. Screw. Because I'm single for life, man. Screw that. Margaritas, no salt on the room. Guys, bad dates. They'll be like, oh, she didn't offer to split the bill. So I went on a first date with someone and he was almost an hour late. And then he said he was shocked. I repeat, shocked that I could get into the restaurant without him being there. And then he ordered all of my food for me without consulting me of what I like to eat or drink. And then we were having drinks. I'm so sorry, but... Any girl that dresses like that, it's a wrap. It's done. Call me picky. Say I have too high a standards, but I can't even listen to her. Look at that head. No, I can't do it. Federico? Oh, this yeah. one's oh, good. Hey. What's up, Shadi? Linda? No. Huh. Miranda? No. Oh, uh, where do we meet? On Tinder, Bumble? At the club. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Amanda. All right, let's go to my car. Okay. Right, my bad, Amanda. Hey, sorry for the mess. It's not Amanda, it's Jessica. <laughs> what? Amanda, where do you want to go? It's Jessica. Oh, that's right from the club. <laughs> okay, my bad. Where do you want to go to eat? Nobu. Yeah, fucking right. You know what? I'm kind of low on gas. You got some gas money I can borrow? I guess. Yeah, I just need 80 bucks. My gas light is on. You need 80 bucks? Yeah, please. Federico? No, that was yeah. beautiful. Oh, hey. What's up, Shadi? Linda? No. That was awesome. He goes right from the club. That was so good. If a man asks you on a date, he needs to pay for it, correct? 
because not I just went on a date. I went on a date to the movies, and the man couldn't even pay for his own ticket. Let alone. <laughs> Gee, what are they doing outside? Sorry, like mowing lawns and shit right out front of my door. Um, I said we'd like two tickets for the movie we're seeing at 105. Um, I have my wallet just because I have my wallet, not because I think that I'm going to pay. I asked for the two tickets. The That's man what people us do. Price. I don't, I don't budge to my wallet because I'm not even, I'm not even going to fake pump to pay. But he looks at me and I look at him like, I'm like, is it on me? He like, you got it. I'm like, <laughs> I guess. Hey man, they wanted equality, baby. It's classic. Anyways, I'm going to read some of you guys' comments if you're new here. I'd like to read you guys' comments at the end of the video from the previous video. All right. This guy's comments from the last uh, Bad Dates episode I did. First date is a walk in the park or go to the beach. It's outdoors, safe, and free. The first date is a vibe check to see if we can get along and if the girl isn't crazy. Nothing more. Hey, you know, keep it easy. You know, I took... My girlfriend I'm with uh, now, been together quite a while now. Our first date, we went to a bar I used to bartend at because I'm going to get free drinks. And we split a uh, $10 quesadilla. So if she's picky, she's fucking picky. There ain't nothing you can do about that. But yeah, I agree with this guy. And we had met before I had took her out. Best first date I ever had. Woman invited over okay woman invited over to her house for a barbecue she made cooked all the sides asked me to cook the meat which i brought of course oh he brought his meat all right we spent the whole day sitting by the grill talking once everything was done she dished a plate out for me and made sure that she was packed wait made sure that she had packed a take-home bag now that's a woman oh she also brought, bought me my favorite beverage. Needless to say, but I, wait, wait, needless to say, but I'm going to say it. She's coming home to meet my parents. That's awesome. All right, last one. This guy's this one was great. Guy9146 says, I had one of my worst and best dates wrapped into one. Met a girl on a dating app. That's how it always happens. Set up a date. When I got when I got there to pick her up, she had this long story about her friend who had to come. Oh, that's off top now nah. got to the restaurant and by the time the first drink was out it was clear i was just being used for a free meal times two gorgeous waitress also picked up on this wait so the waitress picked up on this whole thing and after a little side talk during a bathroom break in which we hit it off the waitress informed me that she was about to clock out and asked if I was interested on a one-on-one -on -one date. I, of course, said yes. The girls got what they wanted, and I still picked up the tab, but they weren't very happy when I told them they would have to call an Uber to get home because I was busy. Wow. <laughs> Spectacular. God. Good stuff. You guys leave uh, your worst dates or best dates in the comments, you know, or just tell me to fuck off. <laughs> Great talk.